So now we look at the major meat of this week, which is something known as the conditional statement. And what we're doing is we're saying to Java now, before you execute the next line of code, I want you to actually uh, take a look at some conditions. Some decision needs to occur, some logic needs to happen before you immediately do something. And to do that, we start off with the character or the keyword if. If, like I said, it is just a keyword in Java that uh, tells it before you execute anything, uh, evaluate some expression first. If that expression turns out to be true, do a block from the true section. If it happens to be evaluated out as false, do something in the false section. So let's say, for example, we take a look at uh, this statement right here. I've said make an integer x equals 42, the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Well, if x is less than 50, again, we're not worried about what this actually is. I know it's less than 50. But what happens in Java's sake is it needs to look at that. It needs to actually do that comparison. We as people, we kind of nonchalantly are doing it in the back of our head. The computer needs to be told to nonchalantly do it in the back of its head inside the CPU. So what happens is it'll go and it says if x is less than 50. Now the same kind of thing that happened in left to the right association kicks in. So instead of there being a left a memory address we don't really have that but we do have that right side the right equation the evaluation. So what happens is this x this x gets evaluated. What does this value mean? Well, it goes into memory, grabs that value, sticks it in there, and suddenly it goes, okay, is that value less than this value? Is 42 less than 50? Well, it'll evaluate this out and it'll become a boolean. It'll either become either a true or a false. It can only become one of these two things because there is no gray area in programming. There's a yes or no, true or false, one or zero. So in this case, 42 is less than 50, and what will happen is I get into this. This is my section that happens only if it's true, only then. Well, we can continue to think about this. What happens if instead of 142, I or instead of 42, I had given it the value of 142? 142 is a little bit bigger, and 142 is not less than 50. It's greater than. Again, the program does not care about greater than. It doesn't care uh, about equal to. All I asked it was, is my x, is my 142 now, less than 50? True or false? This, again, gets evaluated, and because it's false, goes down to this second else section. Now this else section, what occurs is after I've written my true block, notice how I have curly braces indicating where the true statement begins and ends, I now need to deal with uh, the what if, the, the it's not right, it's false. And to do that, I use the keyword else. And again, I do the exact same thing, I throw a curly brace around it to indicate that this is the false block. It's everything that will happen if it is false. And in our regard, 142 is not less than 50. So suddenly I go and I'll say a system.out.println greater than 50. 